Welcome back to the garage. My name is Barry and today we're going to be installing a mod split four seat on this club car DS. So let me show you how we did it. These are the tools we'll be using on this installation. The first thing we'll do is with our 716 socket is to remove the two bolts on each side that hold the front seat back on. Next, with my 716 socket and wrench, I'll remove the two bolts on each side that hold the sun top to the sun top support. Now with our broom handle, we're going to support the sun top, get it out of our way, so now we can remove our seat back frame. Now, with my half inch socket, I'm going to remove the two bolts in the front and one in the back on each side so that we can remove this seat back frame. Now, to remove this back bolt on each side, we first have to remove this inspection panel with a number three Phillips head screwdriver because these have nuts on the underside. Next, with my number three Phillips head screwdriver and my half inch socket, I'm gonna remove the four bolts that actually hold the bumper to the frame. Now, let's go ahead and remove the bumper. Now, to install rear brace back here, making sure the elbow is going down, put our bolt, washer and lock nut on both sides. Now to install the seat support, it will go right on top of the back and we're going to use all the original hardware. We're going to put the L bracket to the front, making sure that this points towards the rear. Now let's tighten this one down. Now we're going to use the original hardware to install this. Now we'll do the other side the same way, and then we can tighten this down. And now we'll reinstall our inspection panel using our original hardware. Now we'll install our footrest brackets onto our footrest. We'll put it into the oblong hole on the end. Make sure you got your solid piece to the outside. And then we'll tighten this down. And keep in mind, this will not totally enclose on this part. It's just holding it good and tight. Okay, now we'll install the footrest. Put the bolt in on both sides, then come back and put the nut and washer. Okay, now we'll set the seat base down. What we're gonna do is align these holes back here on each side with the holes in the support, and we'll bolt that down. Now we'll bolt the seat base to the supports. Now we'll put the armrest on, starting here at the bend. Now we'll put the footrest support on, making sure that one piece curves to the back side, and one piece has a curve to go underneath the footrest, and secure with a washer and nut. Okay, now we will actually mount the armrest to the seat base. Be sure not to push the bolt all the way through, so we'll leave room to get our washer and nut in here. Now for the top bolt, and we gotta always remember to put our little spacer in here. Okay, now to put the brackets on back of the seat back, notice that the holes are offset, and that's the way they'll actually go in. When tightening these down, do use a wrench and just snug it down. If you over tighten, it will strip out. Now to put the seat back on, We'll just align the holes, put this brace on top, and put the bolt straight through. Now we'll put our washer and nut on the underside and do the same to the other side. Now we'll put our new sun top supports on. We'll go to the back side of the seat. Make sure we have our S curve towards the inside of the car. That way we can mount our roof assembly. And once again, do not tighten all this down yet. Now we'll install our seat base, making sure that the cutout goes towards the inside of the car. And we'll line it up, flip it over, make sure you have your little concave washer 
on each of your screws. And when you tighten them down, just snug them down. Do not over tighten. And once we get this fully installed, we'll go ahead and start from the bottom and work our way up, tightening all the bolts and nuts. And that is how you install a Mod's Flip 4 seat on a Club Car DS. And I must say, this is a very sturdy seat, and it's very impressive. I like the fact that it's already got the holes drilled for your trailer hitch and your safety bar. We've also got a place back here for your seat belts. And if you get too many people on this thing, you might want to consider getting some heavy duty leaf springs. We shall see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And for all your golf cart parts and accessories, check out DIYGolfCart.com. And make sure to check out our other videos.